Wouldn't it be great if your in-car infotainment system was as easy to use as your smartphone? Just imagine a crisp, clean design with a responsive touchscreen and apps. Well, thanks to one Canadian tech company, that idea is soon turning into a reality. You might not have heard of QNX, but you've certainly heard of their parent company, BlackBerry. Now, you'll already find QNX technology in modern cars like Toyotas, BMWs, and Porsches. But the company is looking to shake things up with the next generation of infotainment system. And we're here at the capital of Canada in Ottawa to see what they've got coming. And this is the car that's showcasing all of QNX's hard work. And no, that's not your usual CLA 45 AMG. This one has a huge touchscreen, a digital dash, an always-on mobile data connection, and other smart controls which make access to all that technology easy and distraction-free. And this is the main attraction, a 21 by 7 inch touchscreen with responsiveness that's on par with the latest gadgets from Apple and Samsung. It reminds me a bit of the 17-inch touchscreen that you'll find in the Tesla Model S. But as you can see, QNX's car has a much cleaner design. These icons are bigger and easier to recognize with a quick glance, and they don't move around making you hunt for something while you're driving. Over on the far edge of the screen is persistent information like the time, temperature, and any song information like artist, album names, and titles. And as you can see, the system is extremely quick. That's because it's powered by an impressive processing system by tech giant Qualcomm. The power behind this screen is about on par with the latest smartphones and tablets hitting the market today. Now QNX is showcasing a few different navigation systems in order to show off their flexibility to automakers. But all of these systems are extremely quick thanks to a built-in graphics processing unit. Now we've seen something like this in really advanced cars coming out, including the Tesla Model S and the Audi A3. Now one of the things I really love about this system is the built-in media player, which splits up some of the information, like your album art and uh, artist information on one side, as well as all of the lists and your playlist on the other side. It's really a smart use of this huge screen. The system also featured support for Android and HTML apps, meaning it's possible to get the apps we know and love from our phones into our cars. One of the elements that QNX really focused on was hands-free capability, allowing you to keep your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. In order to do that, it featured similar voice recognition technology to what you may find with Siri. This is called natural voice recognition and frees you from having to remember a bunch of specific commands and keywords. And finally, making this a true multi-interface environment, there's a rotary knob here for those who prefer a more tactile approach to cars. We've also seen digital gauge clusters like this before in Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles. But as you can see, this car has a very unique design which really looks clean and clutter-free. Here we can see some navigation information as well as text messages so we don't have to take our eyes off the road in order to read them. The CLA45 is also a connected car with a built-in LTE data connection. Pair that with an onboard diagnostic system and you can see whether your car needs an appointment at the dealership. Heck, you can probably arrange one online so you don't have to argue with any service advisors. You can also access your car through your smartphone, allowing you to do things like roll up the windows, lock the doors, even start the car remotely, all with this guy. Finally, with the right apps, you can get real-time information like Yelp reviews, gas prices, movie listings, even real-time traffic information right from the car. Everything we've seen points to a brighter future for infotainment system. And the good news just keeps on coming, with Ford rumored to be using a QNX operating system in their next generation of My Ford Touch. From here, automakers will pick and choose the features that they want in their infotainment system, meaning that what we see in a production vehicle won't be exactly like what we saw in the garage today. But for now, the infotainment industry is going through a huge upgrade, with QNX leading the charge.
Welcome, Otagai. 